Welcome to my world. Hi, this is Ray at our voiceoverguide.com, and I got a request from one of my subscribers asking about putting some imaging spots together, sweepers, uh, intros, um, movie trailers, and things like that. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do one real quick. And basically, it's just a tutorial on, you know, kind of pasting things together in their area, how to uh, make all the uh, clips uh, kind of harmonize with one another, get the levels all set up, and things like that. So uh, we're going to go through a couple of those today, and hopefully it will help uh, at least one person out there. So what we're going to do is try to do this, um, or a version of something like this, and this is a spot that I produced um, about a week ago. Hey, come here and unwrap this. DJ John Affy. John Affy. Hell yeah, bitch. Live and in the mix. It's all about rhythm. All right, so a pretty cool spot in that took about uh, 15, 20 minutes to put together uh, entirely, but definitely have something very cool for everyone here. What we're going to do is we are going to use um, the master, the godfather himself, a piece that Don LaFontaine did himself uh, for a bunch of uh, voiceover artists, basically saying, you know, you all want to sound like me, um, but you can't. So here's a little spot, dry, uh, dry read from Don LaFontaine. They thought they had what it takes. They thought they could be king of the hill. They were wrong. In a world where their voice was their only weapon, they encountered a larynx that was larger than life. Mine. The voice. The legend. Hear it now at a theater near you. Now that spot all on its own needs no editing. Um... No music track, no special effects, nothing at all. Don, Lanf Don LaFontaine uh, was truly a master. Uh, may he rest in peace. Uh, but we are going to try to movie trailer this up just a little bit by using his voice. So over here in the file area, you'll see that I've already got a few different effects, uh, background tra uh, tracks, what have you, uh, accentuators and things like that. So we're kind of blending a uh, radio imaging spot with a movie trailer. Uh, if you will. So one of the things that I'm going to use here is a really great, I call it the inner world background because it really just has that inner world type uh, th uh, theme. So uh, what we're going to do is we are going to put this on the second track here and I'll let you hear that by itself. <laughs> And it's really got that movie, you know, orchestra sound. But what I'm thinking is we're going to put that in uh, later in his um, in his uh, speech. So what we're going to do, um, I'm going to go ahead and just, I'm going to split this track up. I'm going to hit the plus sign, and that'll kind of give me a little bit more space to play with here. And break down his segments, if you will. So listen to this. They thought they... Oh, let me mute that. They thought they had what it takes. Okay, next part was... They thought they could be king of the hill. They were wrong. Okay, they were wrong, and that's when I'm going to break it up right here. So I'm going to right-click, split-track that, and we'll move on. That was larger than life. Mine. The voice. The legend. Hear it now. At a theater near you. Okay, I just want to do that one split in there so we can kind of move this around just a little bit. I'll hit the minus sign that'll kind of shorten it back up. And I think right after he says they were wrong, that's when I'm going to play the music. So I'm going to get that right over in that area, somewhere about there. Uh, and then we can add some things to it as well, like um, some, let's see, here's a imaging effect. That sounds like a great opener, so we're going to use that to open up. So we're going to just kind of move this around a little bit, and we're going to put that track right in with, we'll put that in the effects on the third track here. 
So it's making the WAV file, or it's converting uh, converting MP3 to a WAV. Um, so we'll start that there. As it goes down, his voice will come in. And then I'll show you how we're going to kind of blend these all together as well. So uh, we have that. Let's just see. Let's move background track right there. What I'm going to do here is by this little corner spot, the fade in liner. What I can do is I can just kind of fade that in so it's not so harsh at the music. Let's just hear what we have right now. This is no mixing or anything right now. This is just kind of a, a dry run. They thought they had what it takes. They thought they could be king of the hill. They were wrong. In a world where their voice was their only weapon, they encountered a limit that was larger than life. Mine. Okay, so it sounds pretty cool. It sounds like a movie already. Um, right here when he goes, mine, that's when we want to go ahead and add a little bit more emphasis as well. So with that, how about an explosion? Uh, there we go. So it'll be like right after he says mine. Mine. The voice. The legend. Okay, so that's a short explosion. So what we're going to do is we're going to right-click on that. We're going to go to Clip Time Stretch Properties, and we're going to enable time stretching, and we're going to do this 150%. Hit OK. It should give us a little bit longer. There we go. And let's see if that works out for us. Listen. Okay, and then we're going to split the track right here so we can just move that outside the explosion really quick instead of having to worry about the fading and what have you. So. Um, got a lot of different things, a lot of different sounds at a lot of different um, decibel levels. So we're going to want to do a couple things with this real quick. We have it just basic, pretty, and dry. Here it is. Um, what we're going to do is go to File. Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to go to Edit, Group Waveform, Normalize. It's going to normalize everything here. So all the tracks that we kind of did here, we're going to go ahead and pick those. Run normalize, and what it's going to do is it's the ones that are higher decibel, um, it'll lower them down. The ones that are a little lower, they're going to uh, heighten the decibel uh, level as well. So they kind of all um, are in the same range, and then we can tweak outside of that as well. But it takes just a second to go through each one of the clips. We'll let that finish. You'll see how it brought up Don's voice as well. And the backing track, it'll probably just go down. Oh, it went up a little bit. So let's listen to it like that. Oh, let's go back home. They thought they had what it takes. They thought they could be king of the hill. They were wrong. In a world where their voice was their only weapon, they encountered a limit that was larger than life. Mine. The voice. The legend. You have now. All right, right there it starts to fade out and goes into a different part of the song. So what we'll do is we'll double click that and we'll open this up in the edit view. Basically we can take out the rest of this song here, um, just delete that. The last part of this will go into our favorite section here and do a fade out. There we go. Go back into multi-track view and we'll see it fades out right there. So from here... And it ends real nice. So when you listen to it, you got to make sure you got a decent set of headphones on. And you kind of hear all the levels in here. You may want to drop things down just a little bit and go to uh, export and then title it whatever you like. We'll just call it um, YouTube Don track and hit save. And it'll go ahead and save the mix down and then it'll open up in the edit view. Uh, fully mixed down together, and we'll let you hear the finished product there. Here we go. They thought they had what it takes. They thought they could be king of the hill. They were wrong. In a world where their voice was their only weapon, they encountered a larynx that was larger than life. Mine. The voice. The legend. Hear it now 
at a theater near you. Now that was kind of fun. Um, a couple things that I would change uh, in the music. It gets a little bit loud uh, here, so I, you know I would take that down just a little bit throughout, um, as well as the separation when he says "mine" right here. I'd probably increase that, maybe add a little echo uh, as well. But again, I, you don't really even need to add anything to Don's voice. So, but hopefully that was helpful to you. Uh, that's the quick down and dirty uh, radio imaging or radio mixing spot. Um, and uh, hopefully that worked out for a few of you. Have any comments, please leave them below and make sure you subscribe. Take care.